one of my visits, I liked the uh, small hometown kind of feeling, and I just really liked Coach Hensel and Coach Steve McNeely, their offensive coordinator. Um, so I went on multiple visits, but whenever I went there, I just felt closest to home. Like, so that's a big reason why I decided to go there. And then my uncle Reese played at Franklin College, and he's in the Hall of Fame there. So it'd be pretty cool to have another man go through there and try to live up to what he did. You talk to the coaches. What kind of role do they talk to you about up there? Um, they just want me to come in and just try as hard as I can, like every other coach would, and hopefully the the competition um, and everything works out, and maybe I'll be on the field my freshman year. You had a lot of fun playing quarterback this year. Just uh, talk about how uh, your senior season went with the Wildcats. Well, first off, it's just um, I'm extremely grateful that we even got to have a season with everything going on, and so um, being able to play was the biggest thing. And then just it was just, it was a blast every Friday, just going out there and not taking anything for granted and playing as hard as we could. You were a very good quarterback. Just talk about your game and what you bring to the table at the quarterback position. Um, I just feel like the athleticism that I have just makes it um, really hard for teams to have good coverage downfield and then being able to get outside uh, the pocket and make something happen. And um, that's my dad always compares me to Brett Favre because he might not make the best decisions, but um, he's always just going out there and competing and trying to win. Played a little goal line defense. You had that big hit down at right. So, uh, did you like playing on both sides of the ball a little bit? Yeah, I've um, growing up, I always liked just going out in the backyard and playing with my older brothers, and they wouldn't take it easy on me. And so, um, I think that's one of the biggest reasons for the aggression and um, how I play defense is because of them and them just bullying me growing up. To play at the next level, you're going to have to improve a little bit. Obviously, all guys do. What are you going to be some of the things you're going to have to do to get better? Uh, just continue to work and rep. Uh, I think one of my, as a quarterback, this shouldn't be, but one of the downfalls of Blake Mann would be the, uh, I'm, the lack of being able to throw the ball to the spots and hit open guys. And so I think that's just one thing that I have to work on. What was it like playing football at Jasper High School for four years with your buddies and with your teammates? That had to be pretty special. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Um, I moved to Jasper in seventh grade, so it wasn't like playing for your home team, but eventually it, it got that way. Like my hometown, Jasper, like became my hometown, and so it was just awesome being able to go play every Friday night in front of a crowd like, like the people that showed up on Friday nights. Blake was one of our captains this year. He was a big part of our offense. Obviously, he was one of our main runners. Uh, he, he's somebody that uh, defensive teams had to contend with week in and week out. You know, and he's had a big part in our overall success uh, the last two years. You know, last year as a junior, started as a wide receiver and then started probably the fourth game, came in and played quarterback the rest of the year and led us to the last big eight conference title as a quarterback and then came back this year and had a great year to the point where he was uh, nominated by the coaches to to represent Jasper High School at the uh, North-South All-Star Game. So we're excited about him being able to do that, excited about him going on to Franklin. Franklin's had a heck of a run the last probably five to eight years uh, in football, so he's joining a good football program and, and we wish him nothing but the best.